even though you'd say that uh, I was dragged, how did you get yourself to be dragged? How did you get yourself into that situation where you were able to be dragged? You were influenced at your age. You can be influenced to destroy your family. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is of course Musings. Here, we muse about issues of life and then based on the conclusions we come to make constructive adjustments moving forward. If it's your first time of passing through here, thank you very much for coming here. Warmly welcome. Take your seats, relax and enjoy. Before you move on, if you see that subscribe button down there, please press it. Press the bell notification and click to it to be notified of future uploads. Also like, share, and if this message speaks to you, you can leave your comments and let's get interactive. I think about four days ago, someone, I think someone watched my video, one of the videos, and she inboxed me. It was quite very devastating. She said, I've got a picture on her. It's not a very pleasant information to discover. I mean, to know that your husband or your wife is cheating on you has one of the devastating things you can ever hear. She was brooding and devastated. It was well of people understood. But what I didn't understand was the fact that she felt guilty for her husband cheating on her. The, the, her reason for being guilty is because before they got married, she was certain her husband was not promiscuous. So for him to be cheating whilst married it means that she had caused the husband to cheat. <laughs> I mean, we spoke at length, but I also want to address this for others to also know. My dear, my friend, my brother, my sister, if your spouse cheats on you, it is not your fault though. Don't be sorry. Don't 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 feel bad. Don't think it is your fault that they have cheated. It's a choice they have taken. Let me break this down for you. You see, there's something called emotional responsibility. You cannot control how people will make you feel. Alright? But you can control how you react to how people make you feel. So if your spouse is making you act in a certain way, you have allowed yourself to act that way because you have the right, the wherever the capacity the capability to restrain yourself think through your decision and then act it otherwise you don't have self-control and that is a very terrible virtue to lack as a married person it is the worst thing you could lack self-control because you are building a well together you are building an identity together if you lack self-control you might break that well they are created by your own hands because they have affected it to act as such a let me tell you, just tell you this in marriage you are triggered <laughs> marriage triggers you it triggers you marriage your spouse will trigger you in ways you have not even imagined before but because you are growing because you are building something you sit back, restrain yourself, think through your actions before you act. If you did it all, cheating or sex outside or flirting outside or anything emotionally encumbering <laughs> that you do outside your marriage shows the greatest lack of self-discipline, the greatest lack of maturity, the greatest lack of regard for your family, your spouse, your children, your vows. And that is something you must take responsibility for. It's not your spouse's doing that you have an affair. No, it's not. You decide to. Against all that could go wrong. I mean, the Bible says God is against divorce. It is in the Bible that God says, I hate divorce. But the same Bible says in the New Testament that you can divorce on the grounds of adultery. And so if you like your marriage, if you like what you have, if it's that important to you, <laughs> why would you toy with something like that and come and expect your spouse to be sorry that you have cheated on them because they made you cheat on them, they triggered you to cheat on them? No, please, no, my dad, no, it's not something. So, my, my dearest friend, sister, who is feeling guilty, be devastated, of course, just by looking your heart, but to be guilty, to take the blame, don't do that, don't be blackmailed into emotionally blackmailed into feeling it's your fault, it's not your fault, it's a choice. He chose to do that. He could have stopped it, but he chose to do that. At any point in time, we are, we have the opportunity to make a choice. Nothing is by accident. So, my sister, please don't, don't, don't feel, um, don't be blackmailed into feeling there are some kids outside. It. Yes, I have neighbors who are kids, and so it's normal. Yeah. And so you see, it's not your fault. Don't feel sorry. 
you will be trapped for marriage, you will be triggered beyond your wits. Hey, but how you respond to that triggering shows maturity, it shows growth, it shows sense. Really, it shows sense. I mean, you know that what you are doing can break your family. You are sleeping around, it can put it can break your family, and you go ahead and you do it anyways. And all that you are feeling sorry for it. Don't feel sorry for it. Good, fine, but it's his choice. He has to come to terms with the reality of what he has done. He has to show the greatest remorse. He should have known to guard his home. He should have known to close every portal that will bring in noise to the union. He should know better to keep it. And to also think, say, it wasn't like that, but because he married, he has become like that. My sister, Subai Wangu, what do you think about Subai in CEO? Subai is saying new thing. You cannot hide it. Maybe when he saw you, you kind of challenged him. And so he wanted to be a better person. And so he was a better person. But Subai no, say, or Tia no, a better person or better person. Into at some point when the fullness of time, the fullness of emotion, the fullness of consciousness has come, he may go ahead and do what he, he already is. That is not even showing remorse. To let you know that he's Subayanam and he expects you to understand. Because the man who is not promiscuous to begin with would be very remorseful. A man who is serious about his family. Would be very remorseful about breaking his vows, but if it's not, and he keeps doing it, and you are feeling sorry for it, and it's super. Once someone willfully creates a portal for divorce, and they don't even show remorse, or they show remorse, a semblance of it, and then retrogress back to whatever they were, and now they now come and tell you, understand, my sister, don't understand. If the, if that's their stand, don't feel sorry. It's not your fault. And it's my opinion. I think the Asia is in. It's fine. Uh, it's you know, feel the bad teacher, of course. That's yes, shaking like I already said, that's shaking the equilibrium, uh, you know, and all that. That's shaking the equilibrium, so feel devastated. It's okay to brood, it's okay to 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 grieve, <laughs> it's okay to whine small, it's okay to talk to somebody too if you want to. It's okay, it kind of takes away the win, but then so we have to now have. Time to sit with him and decide the way forward for your relationship, knowing that as our energy is on the sun, find a way forward for the two of you together and, and, and put your cards out. Thanks for watching.